The new iOS 26.2 is finally here and of course it comes with a lot of new features and changes but also settings that I believe every iPhone user must change on their device. Of course we have new settings that have been added with this update but we also have other th settings that I think are really important and you must check out on your device. Now before we get into all that I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them please make sure you hit the subscribe button it really will help the channel a lot now we're starting things off with updates now of course this is not a new setting but something that i believe is very important so head on to your settings go to general and then go under software update and then go to automatic updates right here what I have to say here is that you have to make sure that you have automatic updates in, enabled right there because they will be really important moving forwards because most likely we will get a new beta for iOS 26.3 really soon and then we will get a second release for that most likely sometime in January. So from now until the release of iOS 26.3 to the public there will be probably like maybe close to two months so there might be a small update in that meantime to fix any like serious bugs or security stuff so make sure that you have your auto updates enabled that way you will get those fixes and improvements on your device next up we're moving to reminders as you probably know by now the reminders app on ios 26.2 has now the alarm feature so let's just search for reminders here so go to the reminder setting which you can find of course under the app section and when you scroll down here you will find something called complete from alarm now this new feature will allow to actually complete the reminder directly from the alarm that you get on your screen when of course it's time to get it so right here it says instead of the snooze option d display a complete button on to the stop basically it allows you to just complete the stop the alarm and also complete the reminder at the same time now another setting a new setting that has been added can be found right here under accessibility if you go under audio and visual you will have here flash for alerts this is of course an old feature but now with a new option on ios 26.2 the option actually to have the screen flash and not the flashlight so if you would prefer this and go ahead and change the setting right here and i think it's more convenient because most of the time you will have your iphone facing like with the screen up that way if you have the flash for alerts you might not see it but you will always of course see the screen flash so go ahead and change it right here next up is another new option for your safety alerts enhanced safety alerts now we'll have the option for earthquake alerts and imminent threat alerts you can go ahead and enable them right here of course they're very important and actually they won't be supported in every region but in your region if you see this option then go ahead and make sure you have both of them turned on now, if you live in EU with iOS 26.2, you will finally get live translations for your AirPods. And what you have to do is enable the translation, of course. And the way to do that is by downloading the languages. So right here with both AirPods in your ear, press and hold both AirPods to start the translation. You will have to actually download the languages that you need. And you can go ahead and do that from here. So you go your settings with your airpods connected you know once you do that it will just display a section for your airpods at the top of your settings app you go there and then you will have here a list of the supported languages now at the beginning of the video we talked about the importance of having enabled the updates the automatic updates for your device on ios 26.2 but here's another one So right here on the privacy and security, if you scroll all the way down here, you will find an option 
for background security improvements. Make sure you have this enabled as well. And it says automatically installed because this will install security improvements on your device. So right here it says it, they will basically provide additional protection for your iPhone in between software updates. So in between, let's say iOS 26.2 and 26.3, there will be these security improvements that will be released by Apple and they will be installed automatically on your device by just having this enabled right here. And now let's move on to some other settings that I believe you must change on your iPhone. One of them will be a newer setting that actually has been added with iOS 26.1, not 26.2. It is called haptics for your phone. What basically what it does is that it gives you haptic feedbacks whenever like a call is dropped or connected. And it will of course drain the battery of your iPhone because everything that basically uses the haptic engine of your iPhone will do that. So if you don't really need this, make sure you have it turned off and you can find it under the phone settings on the app section. Very important, of course, will be also the privacy and security of your device. So make sure you head on to privacy and security, go to location services and check the apps right here. Make sure that they are configured the right way. So you will have here a bunch of options. You can allow an app to use your location just when you're using the app or just ask every time they want to use the location. And also this very important setting right here that won't actually allow the app to have your precise location, which is really cool. You can enable it right here and the app won't ever have your precise location. Another thing that I see being neglected a lot by iPhone users, but it's actually super important, especially for the battery of your device are notifications. Take the time now that you have updated your device to take a look at the configuration that you have for your notifications. Now you can see right here, a bunch of apps I have just completely turned off the notifications because I don't need notifications from those apps. And if I need them, but not really that much, if they are not urgent, I will just put them on a scheduled summary. That's the best way to do it. You don't have to get notifications from things like games or apps that you rarely use all the time they just will light up the screen of your iPhone. Of course, they will use your data and consume a ton of battery. The next thing I suggest you do is make sure you have turned off this option right here under accessibility, find Siri. There's an option for always listen for the Hey word, you know it right here, you can see it. It is basically a battery drainer as it will keep your phone active all the time trying to listen for that word. You know, everything that has to be active all the time in the background does consume like a ton of battery. Make sure you have this disabled as well. Now, another thing I would disable if you don't actually use it is Apple intelligence. It does consume battery because it will be active most of the time and probably you will very, very rarely use it. So make sure you go to Apple intelligence and Siri. And if you're not actually using it, if you don't need it, make sure you have this turned off as well. And last but not least, something very important for the battery of your device, head on right here to sounds and haptics. And right here under haptics, you will find a few different options. So if you get a lot of notifications, a lot of calls, of course, messages and all that stuff, your iPhone will vibrate a lot and consume a ton of battery. And you will have here a few different options. Now I choose to never play haptics because I just don't like basically my iPhone vibrating, but you will have a few different options here. Always play is one that I don't suggest you use, but then you will also have play in silent mode and don't play in silent mode. In my opinion, the best option to go will be play in silent mode because when it's not on silent mode, you will hear the ringer. When you don't have the, hear the ringer, you will have the haptic feedback and that's what you should do. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 12 settings that I believe you must change once you have updated your iPhone to the new iOS 26.2. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash the like button and of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.